ఎవ్రీవన్ దిస్ ఇస్ ప్రశాంత్ వెల్కమ్ టు పైతాన్ ఆటోమేషన్ సెల్ నియమ్ సిరీస్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ అబౌట్ ద సెల్ నియమ్ ఫ్రేమ్స్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ వాట్ ఇస్ ఫ్రేమ్స్ సో ఫ్రేమ్ ఈస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ పేజ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ఎ పేజ్ ఓకే సో ఇన్ దిస్ వెబ్సైట్ వెన్ ఐ రై క్లిక్ హియర్ సీ దిస్ వీ ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు సీ ద పేజ్ రిసోర్స్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ బట్ వెన్ యూ క్లికింగ్ ఆన్ ద ఫ్రేమ్స్ సో యూ విల్ కమ్ టు నో సీ దిస్ వ్యూ ఫ్రేమ్ సోర్స్ అండ్ వ్యూ రీలోడ్ ఫ్రేమ్ ఓకే దిస్ టూ ఎక్స్ట్రా ఆప్షన్ దట్ మీన్స్ సమ్వేర్ ఇన్ దిస్ ప్లేస్ ద ఫ్రేమ్ ఈస్ అటాచ్డ్ ఓకే సో లుక్ వెన్ యూ లుకింగ్ టు దిస్ టెక్స్ట్ బాక్స్ వెన్ ఐ రైట్ క్లిక్ అండ్ ఇన్స్పెక్ట్ ఇట్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద హైలైటర్ ఇస్ హైలైటింగ్ దిస్ ఇస్ అ టెక్స్ట్ బాక్స్ వెన్ యూ వా మూవ్ ఓవర్ లిటిల్ ఇస్ టు ద పేరెంట్స్ సీ హియర్ దర్ ఇస్ ఎస్ టీమల్ హెడ్ బాడీ బట్ బేసిక్లీ వీ స్టా వీ సాబ్ బిఫోర్ ఓన్లీ ద ఎస్ టీమల్ బాడీ ఇన్ ద టాప్ రూట్ ఓకే బట్ వై ఈస్ దిస్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ అ పేజ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ అ పేజ్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈస్ డి నాట్ బై ద ఐ ఫ్రేమ్ ట్యాగ్ when you see the i frame tag so you consider that as a frame okay so if you want to do any action to this page you are in this parent page if you want to do any action in text box you want to move from the parent page to the frames page okay there are couple of ways to move from parent to child or like in to the frames there are four ways to go to the frames okay first is using index so if you there is a only one index only one frame in entire page means we can use a index concept like driver dot switch to dot frame equal to index equal to zero so we can give a index value but this is not recommendable because we don't know it's a one or two sometimes they may order may change so many problems okay but one option is using a index okay next option is using a name or id of a iframe Okay. so in this case this is the i frame if you see this is i frame it has a id as a single name name as a single frame okay so you can copy the id value and you can use that as a one option like driver dot switch to dot frame and and you can paste this so this is using a id okay so this is one option suppose your i frame has a name so otherwise either you can use a id or a frame okay so this is a kind of overloading concept like same name with a different parameters okay see this i can use a id as well as a name okay so this is also recommendable if you have id or frame you can use it another one is most recommended and easy topic is writing a web element like i am writing a single so i am going to create a frame a web element like we studied before like driver dot find element by dot xpath so we can find the web element so in the most of the cases we can either i it is the i it's an idea or everything suppose i mean travel suppose the i frame don't have a proper value the i frame i don't have a proper attribute so what i will do i will take the root okay see this root as id so i am writing double slash div id at id equal to the value so this is a div tag from this div tag my target is i want to find the iframe so i am giving single slash comma iframe see this this iframe is highlighting i took the web element so i am copying this web element and giving it here okay so we can use a web element as well so web element means driver dot switch to dot frame and i want to pass the web element so this is my web element i am passing it here okay so right now we saw we have there are four methods one is you can achieve it through the index value next you can achieve through the name or id the final is you can achieve through the web element okay so when you move directly to the text element okay so right now this is the entire page like uh, this is the html body so this is the entire body it contains so i want to write the content in a input so here this entire body there is a only one input tag see this only one input tag that means so i am going to take a web element like this is a text box right so i am taking text equal to driver dot find element by dot tag name this is the first time we are using tag name so what is the tag name input okay 
so in this text i want to type something so text dot send keys i am typing like this is text box okay so see this so i am commenting the this three operations okay so right now what will happen i will find the web element of the frame then i will switch to the frame and i will i am finding the input tag uh, the web element and typing it okay i am right right click i am running this page so this browser is launched it sent up the url see this the text is enter in the text box without a frame if you find the text box and type also you it will throw an error what error no such element because uh, for this home page it won't know what is inside a frame okay now you can you can ask me i switch it to the frames how i get back to the normal window for that driver dot switch to dot default content see this we want is a default content so this default content will help you to come out of this frame box like frames okay it will come to the normal window okay so i am commenting the uh, this frames so i am going to use a any one in the id so right now i am com uncommenting the switch to dot using id and right now i am finding the text box and typing it okay right click see this it typed the text box okay so thanks for joining in if you like the video please like and share to your friends if you face any issues please put me in the comment thanks for joining in